So we're grooving this What a schlep. He's here for leadership development. Yeah. Um, one of the things we were talking about is training, but one thing that I do want to just put on here is, is hiring. And I really, really, truly feel that we've got some excellent uh, people that know how to hire. And I think we should try to use the Skype. If we are, if we are someplace uh, doing a, an interview that we can get somewhere that we can have somebody like Jack sitting in an interview with somebody else that's doing an interview, Observing, taking notes, Jack, you know what I mean? That you don't have to fly out there. Uh, it, it would save a lot of money. But I want to get into training first. Training prior to store, the start, we would like to have weekly Skyping or FaceTimes to see how, how fast they are coming on their presentation. Uh, how many of you have to drive four or five hours? And I know Tyson, I get on the computer with you. You got, have you been using your, your Skype a lot? Yeah, because I, th I think you were going to have to go, what, five or six hours someplace. So we're going to save money and time, aggravation, all the things that we don't want to have. Uh, when I have people do their final uh, presentation on Skype, uh, this is what I tell them. I said, you know what, it's really nerve-wracking to give the presentation off, uh, you know, in front of me. But what I would like you to do is lift your head and just close your eyes and give me the presentation. First of all, I know that they're not looking at anything, and I can see that their eyes are closed. So that's a just a pointer, okay? Um, we also talked about, about e-learning. So when their first day, they're looking to the heavens with their eyes closed. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, E-learning, uh, I want to thank Nancy and Bart and Randy, all the things that you've done. I think more live stuff we do is going to be more significant than, than you'll ever, ever know because when you can read it, you can hear it, but you can actually see it's going to be a very, very good thing. Onboarding, review, video, uh, the closes, go over the closes. Um, an FAQ section. Do you want to expand on that, Mr. Tom Sherman? Well, we just thought if we had a section coming out of uh, uh, the first and second and third weeks, there are certain questions virtually everybody has. And being able to have them go to a frequently asked question section where some of our best people have answered a question about, well, I keep getting the guy say that I don't have enough time. How to overcome that. We, maybe a train that we have a, an application or an app for all trainers and all division managers on their phones, and then you just pop it up and you you've got that answer. Listen, most of us can answer it, but for newer people and also trainers, they have a lot of trust in the trainer, so they may not even go to the DM. So we want to be sure that, that kind we're of consistent. Best practices. Too, best practices. So bring everybody together. On that. Yes. Yes. Um, we would like Randy Retention's Greatest Hits, yeah. and we would like, uh, just like, uh, I have quite a few things from Zig Ziglar that's on uh, uh, DVD, uh, things that you say or, or someone says, maybe uh, Mark Bryant would say, or Mark Moffat, or uh, just, you know, Greg Hoobler, whoever, who could really, really, some of those zingers, it's kind of an inspiration to go on there and say inspiration and they can just go on there and hear some of the things that they that they have this is what i came up with i mean not necessarily just me but the video diary is something that i think could be very revealing um i don't think we should have a blog because it can go very very negative but if we had people who could send in video diaries of this is my fourth day at work at NFIB, and I actually got my first sale. It was a guy, blah, 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 and I'm really excited. That's great. Um, maybe he has some video diaries that say, you know, I'm really frustrated. I had a tough day. Or you have a veteran who said, I've had, well, I just talked to Kim Wake. She had 18 interviews without any sales. And she says, I've made 17 presents, but I've done 18 interviews. And so I had to regroup. I looked at my, at my presentation. I reviewed it. I looked at my folder. It was disorganized. If we have those pearls of wisdom, it's a lonely place out there, folks. If we had some really good video diary, 
Uh, like I said, the first week is usually the toughest. Maybe we would had some of those things in there be very, very positive. Um, then we went down to online sales, real-time input, reports, pay. I think everybody's talked about that. And then we went down to reports, real-time, and this is what I loved about Rod. He's silent but deadly. And what we had talked about was, wouldn't it be great that Chris, on Friday night at midnight or whatever, that you had what your revenue was, but you also had what TSD had? for revenue, so you would know every week how far ahead of the game or behind the game you were, and that you set some realistic goals to your people. Hey, you know, if I'm gonna hit these things, I'm gonna have to hire three more people. So we thought that would be great. Also real-time field reports, uh, FSRs uh, input daily, so they know what they're making every day. They get paid every week, but they know every day what they make. Also, they have a report that shows, they, hey, you're 50% to getting to an SES bonus or to a new business bonus or to a renewal bonus, all those things. And my biggest thing is, I would like Friday nights off to have dinner with my husband. So, if we had real time on reporting and we don't get our numbers from our people, they put their numbers on all week, we get them, our, our SD gets them, John Casella gets them, whoever gets them, and then we also get what TSD did, we'd be happy campers. We wouldn't be held hostage Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday Saturday morning, morning. not doing anything but crying. So 